why I shower with the wand. So we have these two other shower heads. I use like a different temperature for the water for my hair and my face. I don't like putting really, really hot steaming water on my face. So I kind of avoid that. After I get out of the shower, I use this Aquis hair turban. So it's really cool. I mean, I'll just demo it for you guys, but basically I like this towel because it dries your hair faster and it causes like less friction. I don't want to pull on my hair because I have really processed hair. So I use this little towel turban. So it basically loops on your head like this and then you just wrap it. There's like a loop for the button. So it's nice and intact. And I really appreciate this towel because after I get out of the shower, I wash my face with cold water and sometimes like my towel will fall into the sink. So this is really nice. While I do my skincare, I just let my hair dry in this turban. And honestly, now that my hair is so short, it dries super, super fast. I just pat it down like this. I make sure not to like move it around too much or cause so much friction to my hair because I feel like that causes just extra breakage. So I'm just gonna naturally let it pull out. And then I'll just get the turban and just squeeze any excess water out. Okay, so I have a lot of products that I use on my hair. First I like to do is spray this it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin, and I love this product. I started using it initially, probably like, honestly, over like five or six years ago when I first dyed my hair, and it was so damaged after bleaching because I had like a bleaching mishap. And then I know people that have more like oily scalps don't use um, conditioner all, all the way to their roots, but since my hair is so processed, I just have to make sure that the entire thing gets nice and hydrated and just like the same amount of love so just run this through with my hands i have um tape and extensions right now so i make sure to just hold that when i brush it out because i feel like when it's wet it's more prone to coming out and then next i use another leave-in and this is from odeli or odell and this one is nice because it's clean beauty for your hair. It has no sulfates, no, no formaldehydes, no phthalates, parabens, dyes, synthetic fragrances. And this is just really good for thirsty hair. So I just pump it out of my hands and then I get run it through. And there's such a big difference in my hair when I use these products and I don't because sometimes when I travel, it's a lot of travel with. So I don't take these products sometime and I can tell my hair be thirsty. And then next, I'm gonna use this Kerastas Fortifying Serum and actually put this directly onto my scalp. It's like a dropper, you do like. And then lastly, I use this Aura Therapy Diamante Pro Vanilla Oil and this oil is so amazing. It's my favorite one time after time. Another one that I really like, I think that is a little bit more um, budget friendly also is this function of beauty hair serum and this um, brand is really cool because you can basically formulate your own products dependent on your hair types you do like an online survey and you can also pick the scent and the color and it says your name on it going back to this oil as well I really like this one because it really hydrates your hair and makes your hair so soft. I really make sure to use it right after I get out of the shower and also right before I do any sort of heat to it. Because I found that with some oils, it literally leaves your hair oily and we don't want that. So it's kind of a lot, put it all in my, all in my hands. And then I start with my ends and then just brush it through with my fingers and then move my way up and then put a little bit on like the crown of my head because that's where a lot of breakage happens. And I love the scent of this one, but I really love this brand Fanola. I also, in the shower, I use my whey shampoo and just put like a quarter size amount of the Fanola No Orange Shampoo and what that does is keep my hair really really ashy but also keeps it really white and like silver and bright because I know that you know we all love purple shampoo and so did I 
But the thing with purple shampoo is it deposits purple in your hair, so it makes your hair kind of dark. So instead of having my hair really bright and silver, it was getting kind of like a dark gray. So for people that have really, or want really that cool ashy hair, I recommend um, no yellow shampoo. So those are all my products, and now I'm going to dry my hair, and I know a lot of people are, you know, mixed feelings about brushing your hair when it's wet, but I feel like if you use um, basically like a wet brush that doesn't tug at your hair, once all the oil is in my hair and all the serums, it's nice and hydrated, I do like to brush it through before I start blow drying it, and this is the Dyson hairbrush. It came with my um straightener that i got so again i mean i have extensions i'm just gonna hold it in place yeah but this brush is really gentle so i don't apply that much pressure i kind of just like run it through and then to dry my hair i'm using this dyson supersonic blow dryer and this is literally the best thing that's ever happened to my hair because other like more i guess traditional blow dryers what they do is i feel like they strip my hair of the moisture sometimes right after i dry my hair it feels like hey it feels so so dry but this one does not make your hair feel dry and actually my hair feels softer and easier to manage and style after i use this and basically i will show you i definitely feel like this is worth the investment especially for people with processed hair but even if your hair is not processed i think you will notice a really big difference in your hair and you can also make it cool and when i dry my hair i always just make sure to dry it facing down like this so it goes in the direction of the hair i don't ever like flip my hair over and um, dry it because I feel like that causes it to tangle. Once my hair is a little bit dry, I do go back in in the middle and apply oil one more time, and especially the areas that really need it. So definitely on the bottoms and then a little bit at the roots. And anywhere that you feel like there would be any kind of breakage, and then to like set your bangs, I don't really have really bangs anymore because now that's grown out, but you basically blow dry it to the left and then blow dry it to the right and it kind of just settles nicely. I'll demonstrate. And then for that, I'm just gonna lower the strength of it. So it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like this, but this is a really great way to set your bangs right now while your hair is a little damp. So, or brush it forward like this and then literally just tuck it behind my ears i mean yeah while it dries it looks like this but it's gonna look good after so i pretty much like to get most, most of the moisture out of my hair using the dyson super shining blow dryer and then i kind of let my hair naturally sit for a little bit it's just like a tiny bit damp so this is when i get ready do my face and then i come back to style it once it's all dry so I got ready while my hair fully dried. I did my makeup, I did my little tanner, got dressed, and then now I'm gonna style it. And I just wanna make sure that my entire head is dry. Sometimes I'll kind of blow it out one more time with a supersonic blow dryer to make sure there's no um, water or dampness before I straighten it, because that really burns your hair, right? So now I'm just gonna style it, and I just, like to keep my bangs intact like this because what's nice is kind of like when you pull it out it naturally will form little bangs after you tuck it and just let it sit and dry like that and now i'm going to use the dyson coral i love this product it is the wireless straightener it comes in like this velvet little pack it should be all charged so i'm just gonna go ahead and straighten my hair now so i love this product well all the dyson products are really really amazing because it works just as good or even better than other products but basically uses less heat and like with half the damage so i really swear by these products literally these are the only like heat products that go near my hair and you just turn it on and then you can set the temperature I usually set mine to 365, it heats up pretty quickly. I'm just gonna let that heat. I'm just going to brush my hair out. 
I mean, honestly, having short hair, I kind of feel like I don't need to like style it much, which is really nice. But I shall style it. And that means it is all ready to straighten. So before I apply heat, um, instead of using a heat protector, I actually use this oil one more time because it acts like a heat protector too. Sometimes I found with like the spray ones, I don't like the texture it makes my hair turn once my hair is all dry. So I'm just gonna run it through, especially um, the bottom, a little bit on my flyaways. I'm just gonna pin up my hair and then just start straightening it. And this is so effective. I just literally run it through just a couple of times. And just to add kind of like different textures in my hair, I like to wave it in and then wave some out. So I wave the bottom section out. And a trick I like to use to add volume up here and then wave it out is when I'm waving, I kind of take it out like that. Then my extensions are right here. And I do tape in extensions and I just get mine at the hair shop. And I like these thick ones better. They do have thin ones that are like half the size, but I found that with those, they're a little more finicky. Like they come off easier, maybe because the band is thinner. I mean, I grab a lot of hair at a time. I'll wave this one in. I'll wave this one out. And then once I'm done with everything, I'll just grab thinner pieces and just wave them a little bit. Oh God, there's eyelash in my eye. I mean, I love extensions, but oh my gosh, when it goes in your eye, it's like bloody murder it hurts so much. So this is kind of what it looks like after. What I like about setting my bangs earlier is it kind of makes it look like curtain bangs. I don't really even have bangs. It's just the way that you weave it. And this is the final product of what my hair looks like. And I really think the key for me is using my hair mask. And I use the L'Oreal L Vibe Damage Erasing Balm. And it is so amazing. I've been through so many jars. It's such a miracle worker. I travel with that entire jar when I travel. Sometimes I'll skip conditioner and just do that. And also I love my Dyson products. I really feel like they protect the integrity of my hair and also it styles it really nicely too. And then once I'm done, just to wrap it up, I use this Way finishing cream and I'll show you how. Should we move over here? I don't want the lighting better. So I use this way finishing cream just to smooth out all like the little ends and the tips. Oh, and with this Dyson Curl Straightener, what I like is once you're done with it, you can basically lock it so it's safe. This is the final result of how I style my hair slash take care of my hair. Yeah, this is just a hair routine that I usually do whenever I do wash my hair. I like the frequency of how much I wash my hair. I probably wash it once a week or twice a week, depending on if I've worked out or not. But I kind of like the texture of like, you know, unwashed hair, especially because my scalp is really dry just because I have really processed hair. I feel like when I had a lot of my natural root black hair, I found myself washing my hair every other day, but since my hair is dyed and processed, it really differs a lot. And also it differs to like where you're using your hair mask and your conditioner closer to the root or not. But these are just my specific hair care practices. This is the final result.